Hello, my name is Sarah Russell and I'm a clinical exercise and cancer rehabilitation specialist. I'm also a clinical Pilates teacher and I've lived with an ileostomy since 2010. In this video, I'm going to talk about parastomal hernia and the role of therapeutic exercise. It's important to know that exercise is generally safe and appropriate for anybody who has a parastomal hernia and it has a vital role to play in recovery and quality of life. As a clinical nurse specialist, you're in a unique position to help your patients. But we know from research that ostomates diagnosed with a hernia actually become less active and report a lower quality of life, and we need to change that. People need to learn how to live with a hernia and how to exercise safely and confidently. So I'd like to share three simple ways in which you can help your patients overcome the fear of parastomal hernia. First, I'd like to talk about using a person-centered approach. This simply means taking a holistic view of the patient, considering not only their stoma or hernia, but also their physical, social, and emotional needs. Sometimes well-meaning advice, such as not to do strenuous exercise or to avoid certain activities, which is meant with kindness and care, can often be damaging and limiting, setting the patient up for a cycle of fear and inactivity. I was recently working with a patient who'd been told to give up golf in case it made his hernia worse. For this patient, golf was his life. To be told not to play again was devastating. So a person-centered approach in this case would mean thinking about this patient's mental well-being and physical health. Give him ways to play golf more safely, to strengthen his abdominal muscles so he can play and swing the club. Tips such as using a buggy and lifting his clubs in a safe way enabling him to continue his golf more safely. We need to think about the patient as a whole and the person in front of us, not just their hernia. So the second point is something really simple called strength-based language. This just means using positive language, talking to people about what they can do rather than what they can't. This simple switch can make a fundamental difference and move people out of this fear avoidance cycle, improving their quality of life and reducing their fear. So rather than saying don't lift heavy things, which is common advice after stoma surgery, strength-based language would mean saying, here's how to lift something safely and teach people how to do that with correct technique. This means people feel enabled and safe rather than fearful and disabled. A really simple small switch, but very effective. And finally, a therapeutic exercise program is a powerful tool to help people restore their confidence in their body after surgery, physically helping them to reduce their risk of hernia, but more importantly, to help them feel stronger and less vulnerable. The three-phase Me Plus Recovery program from Convitec is the ideal program post-surgery for anyone with a hernia. It builds confidence using simple Pilates-based exercises that can be done as soon as three days post-op or any time in the future. A common concern is that abdominal exercises could be damaging and could make a hernia worse. However, the opposite is true. We need to reconnect and strengthen our deep internal core muscles, creating almost like an internal support garment or scaffolding for the stoma and the hernia. So I'm gonna demonstrate two exercises from the program now to show you how simple and appropriate they are. And you might even want to join in with me and try them alongside me. So come on down to our back and these exercises can be done on the floor or in bed. And we're gonna lie on our backs with our knees bent and feet flat. Bring your arms down by your sides, nice relaxed neck and relaxed shoulders. I'm gonna start with a simple exercise called pelvic tilting. So place your hands on your lower abdominal area. Put your fingers into a V shape, into a diamond shape. So your thumbs are together and your fingers are together. Place your hands on your lower tummy. So your thumbs are in your belly button and your fingers are pointing down towards your pubic bone. And we're just going to start by rolling. Imagine you've got a marble. So the marble is in the diamond. And we're going to roll the marble towards the thumbs and then away down towards the fingers. And roll the marble up towards the thumbs and down to the fingers. So you can just see I'm creating a tilting motion with my pelvis. So nothing else is really moving, just that pelvis. And what this is doing, it's reconnecting with these deep abdominals. We're drawing in with the transverse abdominus and the pelvic floor. And we're just connecting and tilting with that pelvis. So you would do maybe 10 to 15 repetitions. 
creating a little bit more awareness and connection with those deep abdominal muscles as you tilt back. Second exercise is knee roll. So knees together, feet together, arms by your sides, nice relaxed neck and shoulders. And let your knees just come over to one side and bring them back up to center and over to the other side and back up to center. Keep your shoulders down on the floor, or the mat, and just roll back up. So when the idea isn't to get the knees all the way to the floor, we're just taking the knees over to an angle that you feel comfortable. And then really think about connecting with these abdominal muscles and the obliques to draw up and back together. And again, you would do 10 to 15 of those. And these are all exercises that can be done daily, maybe two to three times a day. And they're simple and safe and appropriate for everyone. So there are 25 exercises in the program in total. And this means patients can pick and choose the ones that feel right for them. So please take a look at the Me Plus Recovery Program from Convitec online and see how you could introduce this to your patients. And this isn't just for the fit and sporty ones. This is for everyone. This is for anyone with a stoma and anyone with a parastomal hernia. So thank you for listening to this video. I hope you found it useful. And just please think about how you can use those three techniques to help your patients overcome the fear of parastomal hernia.